guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to do my day 13, hashtag 29 faces. I'm going to leave the group, the Facebook group link down below uh, because I'm only doing this because I'm in that group and I love doing this. I think this is like the second or third time that I've uh, done this with them. So if you want to check it out, it is never too late to start. Um, doing these you can start today and it's just doing faces every single day in different types of faces and that's what I'm gonna do today so I'm gonna use uh, probably just draw with my regular pencil I'm gonna move in a little bit a little bit and I think I'm gonna turn my light on to see if that helps because my lighting it's like half sunny half cloudy I don't know what the heck it's doing out there so I'm gonna draw but what I want to do is now you know I'm loving the um I'm loving the big the big hair girls, not gonna lie. Because I am a big hair girl myself. I'm a big girl with big hair. Rocking that. Alright. But I think I'm gonna go like this and draw. Don't know. I want these to be eyes. See how you can see I'm not even measuring. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I'm going to tell you this. If you are not part of the group, the 29 faces, I'm going to tell you, check it out because the, the people in there and their drawing and stuff is freaking amazing. It is so, so good. Um, oh, and they paint them and everything like that. So definitely go check them out. And if you are in that group, oh, you know that, what I'm talking about. People are just, they're amazing. They're art. I'm like kindergarten art. But I don't care because I love doing it. I think I'm going to keep the eyes low. Little like that. And then I think we're going to keep the nose here. Let's see, what kind of nose do you want to give her? I don't want to make a penis nose because Veronica made a comment about my penis nose. I'm laughing. I don't care that she, I, I, after she said it, I was like, oh my, she's right. I don't even know what kind of face this is going to be, but we're going to rock with it here. Okay. Going to add the lips. So keep, you know, keep uh, your eye out on the video for us. It's not going to be for another 15 days or so, but I'm going to do 31 days of creepy. And like I said, it could be creepy. It could be cute, creepy. It could be whatever you want. You could just work on them doing your, you know, if you've never done creepy before, then you can definitely uh, start doing creepy then. Just creepy can be doing it in all black and gray. I love doing black and gray. But, uh, you know, it could be anything you want. All right. So I think I'm going to take this down. Oh, let's see what the heck did I do with my pencil. I love this is um, a bigger. It's paper meat. It's a bigger pencil to hold on to. Sometimes those little ones kill me. I am a mechanical pencil freak. I use them quite often, but um, I love my favorite thing in the world is the 0.9 lead because it doesn't break on me and sometimes they're hard to find even at staples and all I look because they don't have them in the thicker uh, things but 0.9 mechanical pencils are my favorite because the lead doesn't break because I push kind of hard uh, sometimes depending on my hands and 0.5 which is normal which is like a like a two right like a two school pencil number two school pencil um, breaks like nothing. I can sneeze and it breaks. All right. So I just want to know what I'm going to do there, but I want to, now if I want to do a, I think I'm going to do it like this. Like a little double chin kind of look. I don't know. Might turn that under. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm 
look smaller. Eyes. <laughs> Let's see what kind of I want to do horns, but I don't know if I really do. So we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Might make them thicker. I don't know. Right now it's just going to, to uh, be here. And I might do... Hmm. She has eyelids like that. Yeah. All right. I know. is isn't looking that great, but that's all right. So I'm going to go in with my Finite Pentel Extra Fine Point Pen. I don't know what the heck that means. But what I'm going to do is go in. These are um, permanent, so they don't run. And they also work. They write fantastically over... Um, acrylic paint but I don't know if I'm going to color her or if I'm just going to keep her gray and black I don't know and I don't worry about uh, if I'm still point on or not you know, I mean, once I erase everything. Oh, I went, oh, I'll show that in a second. Then. Let me show you real quick. Cause like one of the things I know it's hard for people just starting out to do lips and that kind of thing, but think of it like this. If you're doing lips, do for the bottom and then do it like this, just for the top. So think about it when you're doing your face, you're doing your eyes and everything like that. Like I said, again, do a smaller one on the top and then do this one on the bottom like you're making a snowman, right? And then let me move it so you guys can see because that would be helpful, Cal. So then you can go in and that's why the small, the, the balls, the circles when I do them, but I'll show you in a second. But you can see here, then this becomes kind of like the upper lip and the bottom lip, and then you can go in and just add that V. See how we just do that V in there? And then this is where your line would be. You just kind of draw it like that, and then just connect it. And then just connect it. <clears throat> and then you can go in and erase And you essentially have lips. When you're just starting out, that's all you have to do. You can see it's not it's not going to be perfect, but then you can add if you want them to be smiling or whatever you want to do, and then you can just add your lips and, and just kind of play around. But that's definitely easier to do. And the same with like when you're doing if you're doing it smaller. Just do it like that. Put your line in there. And do that, and then you can do your little lip right there. Erase it.
you're just making an M essentially. Put your line in there and then you have your lip. So it's very, you know, erase your lines a little better than I'm doing, but it's, it's simple. I mean, it's that simple. If, if, if doing the circles, which I completely understand, I know, I know how hard, but if you put your line down and you do a circle here and I'm going to do it bigger because you guys can see, but you see how they touch, but like right on that line. And then you'll do your, you can, if you're having problems, just put your line down like that and then make it go like this. Right. Then you can erase your line in the middle. Then you have that lip dip right there. Right. And then you can put your line this way and then do the same thing. You can add it this way and this way and then erase it in the middle. Granite bigger than you'd want to do unless you're doing a big canvas. I'm so sorry for that. And then you have lips. So don't be, don't get scared. Don't, don't say that you can't do it because you can. This is as simple as I can break it down for you. Like I said, you want to do a smaller oval and then your bigger oval and start off big like I did, because then you'll see how much easier you'll find it. Right. Let's do it like that and then do it all again. That's just going to be your, you know, your lips, put your line in there and just bring it down, bring that up. Erase it, and then you got lips there. So I just wanted to tell you real quick about it. You know, for the, those of you starting out who are, I uh, got like three messages yesterday, I think, of uh, asking me about the lips because a lot of you have problems with them. It's very, the more you do that, if you just sit and do your, take your piece of paper and just sit and just make lip, 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 and just do it. And then do your eyes and do your nose. Um, very simple. Uh, you'll see by the end of the first one to the last one, you'll see a difference and you'll get the hang of it. Cause it's just, it's just circles. I think y'all beat yourself up a little bit too, <laughs> too much. All right. I mean, there's days I can't even do lips and mouth. So, you know, all right. So now I'm going to do these cause I'm going to kind of do them thicker like that because that's just how I want them. Now I'm going to go in. Now pay mind to the fact of if you're using permanent markers, right? And that includes Sharpies. Sharpies are fantastic. The Bic's fantastic. Um, if you're using, if you're using, I just lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. I heard a noise and then I was like, I lost it. Um, if you're using them, don't get upset if you go to put water on here right now and it, they smear a little bit. Whatever your marker it is you're using, if it's permanent, because it has to soak into the paper and because this is mixed media paper, um, it's going to soak in. So it takes a minute. So if you have your hair dryer or your heat gun, you can always do that as well. Um, you know, so... Now I'm going to use some green. I'm just going to paint this face up so I can then let it dry and uh, do something with it later. So I'm going to add in some green. Green's going to be my color today. I'm going to be using it for everything. And just kind of go in. Now you can definitely see what I'm going to do, but you see how you can still see it. And that is not smearing and it is fantastic. I'm going to get more of these, um, permanent pens, whether they're Sharpies or whatever, and throw them in giveaways because I don't think enough of us have them. And I love them. You can get them at the dollar store too. You know, they have, uh, all they are alcohol ink, uh, pens, you know, that you write with. And then the horns. Well, let me go in. I'm going to go in. That was color green tea. This is light Timberland green. Don't know where the heck they got that name from, but, but the did. Let's see how much this looks like a diarrhea color, which I think that'll work out well here. Go in around and blend it. And you can use your uh, blending solution 
you have any. If you want to go in and blend this in a little bit better. Sometimes I like the stark look of it because, um, let me go up above the hairline. Because that's just how I roll, but I mean, everybody likes different things. And I don't know if I'm going to do hair on her or not. And if you have too much, like you can see, I put like a little bit, what the heck? I'm like way up here. Why? Why? Uh, you can see I put a little bit underneath here. So all I'm going to do is kind of blend it in and just take my brush and push because some of that lighter color is still on my brush because I was only using the ends, you know, like here for the dark. So you can definitely just go in and blend it and just leave a little bit. And I go outside the lines because I know I'll end up probably cutting her out if I do use her. But today I'm just kind of playing it's just what I want to do so I'm just going to blend some of this out and add a little bit here where else do I want to do right here mm -hmm. You know, I get weird. I get weird. Now I want a little bit of, where'd my, oh, right in front of me. What is wrong with me? I want a little bit of the Titan buff because it's, um, I'm going to put it there because it's such a beige color as you can see. And it'll, it'll go good with here for me just to highlight. I want to highlight the nose area. And then some cheeks. I'm not using any other um, product right now. So there's no blending or anything like that. No solution. Just me and my paintbrush. Just want to blend those in a little bit. So you can see how that gives her just a little bit. looks like her cheeks right there. Now I could do a little darker under there, but I'm going to use, I'm going to use gray. I'm going to use this vintage color here. Just a little bit of it for the eyelids. Cause I want to keep it this like, I don't want to say dirt color. Cause that's not really what it is, but. Oh, my paint just uh, blew a bubble at me. Isn't that enjoyable? Because you know I'm going right in for them red eyes, probably. <laughs> I don't know yet, though. <clears throat> and then I'll use a little bit of it in here. Kind of clean off my brush in there. In them lips. Just like that. And then I'm going to close this up because, you know what, I need a small, I need to do her eyebrows, her eyebrows. Okay. And I'll draw lines over them, like to make them a little more stand out a little bit more. I have to put a little light, more light underneath there, but I do want to do here. All right, let's do. Mm 
See how our cheeks, it just makes that light. I'm going to try to blend this a little bit. Might be dry already. Oh, I love these mixed media brushes. I'll just scrub and scrub. Scrub and scrub. Now you can see this cheek. I don't, this isn't to look uh, real. This <laughs> is just playing around. I want to do a little highlight under the eyebrow though. So it kind of separates. Go in here a little with the light. Just so it separates it a little bit. Yeah. See how it just makes everything stick out a little bit more? I can clean my brush here. Alright, now I have to figure out those eyes. Those eyes, those eyes. What color am I gonna do with the eyes? I'm gonna leave the like the eye itself green. But I'm gonna use red, I think. I use a paint pen because It'll just be easier for me to get into. These things save my life because I can just do things like this. Quick and easy. Easy and quick. I might just do this too. I know. I should have kept it green, but I never can leave anything alone. Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, finit, finito, sorry. Kind of an Italian girl am I. I'm just going to give the illusion of some nostrils. All right, and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to trace out these eyes again. Like I said, I'm going to leave them green on the inside. This is why I walk around with paint on me all the time. I'm always putting my arm <laughs> in my wet paint. And we're going to trace out these lids like that. And I'm going to do the lips. I am not a perf perfect person to, to, you know, do the lips and I kind of stay in the lines. I kind of don't. Some lips there. I like, I like the shadow down here because it kind of, you know, but I'm going to probably, I don't know if I should use this or wait and use my marker. Yeah, this needs to dry a little bit more, but I'm going to throw some hairs in this for texture for now. Clean off your pen, no matter whether it writes on it or not, because that acrylic paint will dry on there, and then you'll be mad. You'll be mad. And then, for now, I'm going to do a dot in each eye for the pupil. And that is... I have to cut this out like that. That is her so far. I am going to take the red. Yeah. And give her that so I can, I'll probably paint those in with red though, but that just gives you the idea. I might even 
No, I'm going to leave those like that. I'm not, let's see, I should have waited till I put this on. Let's see if I can get some of this black up just to kind of go in there. Yeah. Because I'm not real sure about the eyebrows yet, how I want to do them, but, so I shouldn't have put the dark in there yet, but that's all right. But that's her so far. That is where we're at. I like the different looks of her face. I, I like that the cheeks are up, but I mean, I don't know when it dries, I might decide something else, but this is just, you know, day 13 of hashtag 29 faces. And if you guys are doing it along with me, please tag me in your pictures. Um, Oh, Barbara and Kathy and April and Veronica. And there are so many more. I'm going to write them down next time so I can give you all a shout out because I love that you guys are doing this too. I'll put the link down to the group for the hashtag 29 faces. Go check them out. I love you guys. As always, be kind to each other because you never know about all somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.